Hello everyone, Deck Trolls here, and today I have for you my legendary fisherman deck. Uh, before I start this video, remember to like and subscribe because I have 100 plus budget friendly deck profiles, so there's going to be a lot of fun content coming your guys' way. So yeah, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, Alright, so let's go on to the legendary fisherman. We've got three. The legendary fisherman number three. Cannot be normal summoner set, must be special summoned from the hand by attributing one the legendary fisherman, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card is special summoned, you can banish all monsters your opponent controls. Also, this card cannot attack the turn this turn. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Also, it's unaffected by spells and traps. Once per turn, you can return as many of your opponent's banished cards as possible to the graveyard. And if you do, the first battle damage or effect damage your opponent takes this turn becomes doubled. So basically, you gotta attribute a legendary fisherman to summon this card, and one of its main effects is to return its banish your opponent's banish cards to the grave to double any damage that they receive. So if you go for a direct attack, they get and he's a twenty-five, so he'll get um, five thousand damage. Which is Pretty cool. You got three. The Legendary Fisherman, number two. This card's name becomes the Legendary Fisherman while face up on the field. Or in the graveyard. While Umi is on the field, this card is unaffected by other monsters' effects. If this face up card is destroyed by battle or leaves the field, the, the field because of an opponent's card effect, while in its owner's possession, uh, you can add one level 7 water monster from your deck to your hand. So that helps you search out your legendary fisherman number 3. You have 3, the legendary fisherman. While Umi is on the field, this card is unaffected by spells and cannot be targeted for attacks, but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. It's not the best card, but it is the heart and soul of this deck, because that's what it started with, with our freaky fish guy. You have three Warrior of Atlantis. You can discard this card to the graveyard and add one, a legendary ocean, from your deck to your hand. So you can either pitch this card and get your field spell, or you can use it as a 19 beater. Got three Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Uh, it has a um, scale effect. It's four. You can reduce the battle damage you take from an attack involving a pendulum monster you control to zero. During your end phase, you can destroy this card, and if you do, Add one Pendulum Monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect, each Pendulum effect of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon once per turn. And its monster effect is, if this card battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage this card inflicts to your opponent is doubled. So, let's say for example, uh, this monster has been destroyed at some point during the duel and is in your extra deck and you're able to successfully pendulum summon it while you control your fisherman level um, number three uh, that turn and you return to your opponent's banished monsters so you now have him in the field and your legendary fisherman number three if you cause the first damage with him his effect doubles the damage and then the fisherman's effect doubles the damage again so let's say you're going for a weaker monster that's gonna get times four damage no yes times four damage I think it's fun <laughs> all right we got three Dragotes the empowered warrior uh, scale 2, 
At the start of uh, this is a pendulum effect. At the start of the damage step, if a monster you control battles an opponent's face-up monster, you can discard one card. The opponent's battling monster's attack and defense become half its current attack and defense, even if this card leaves the field. And the field effect is, if this card in its owner's monster zone is destroyed by an opponent's uh, attack or card effect, you can add one warrior or spellcaster monster with 2,000 or less attack from your deck to your hand, except Dragote the Empowered Warrior during the end phase of this turn. So it's cool because that can help you search out your um, legendary fisherman, whether you want, no, just just the first one. It'll help you search out the first one or it's a counterpart that I'm about to show you. You got three, Dragnox, the Empowered Warrior. He's the last of our monster lineup. Uh, his scale effect, he's scale seven is when an opponent's monster declares an attack you can destroy this card and end the battle phase and his field effect is when an opponent's uh, once per turn you can discard one card then target one warrior or spellcaster type monster with a thousand or less attack from your graveyard special summon it in face down defense position all right now for the spells we have two a legendary ocean now this is our field spell because this card's name is treated as umi so that's able to help it get uh, your legendary fisherman's effects off reduce the level of all water monsters in both players hands and on the field by one all water monsters gain 200 attack and defense now this is cool because um, your legendary fisherman 2 and legendary legendary fisherman uh, one, I guess, uh, are both level five, so it makes them level four, and you're able to normal summon them without any kind of tributing necessary. And then that makes it easier for you to go into your special summon for your legendary fisherman number three. You have two empowerment. All dragon, warrior, and spellcaster type monsters you control gain 300 attack and defense. Once per turn, you can discard one card, special summon one empowered warrior monster from your deck. Once per turn, you can banish a total of four warrior and or spellcaster type monsters from your graveyard. Add one aether monster from your deck to your hand. That last effect does not apply in this deck. You have one terraforming. Add one field spell from your deck to your hand. It just depends on what you need at the moment. Most likely going to be um, a Legendary Ocean. Have two Feast of the Wild level 5. Special summon up to two level 5 warrior type monsters from your hand and or graveyard. But their effects are negated. Also for the rest of the turn they cannot attack. But this is okay if all you need to do is special summon your Legendary Fisherman. You got... Two, Murray of Greed. Shuffle two water monsters from your hand into the gr deck and draw three cards. So if you're bricking, try to unbrick. You got two, Aquarium Stage. Water monsters you control cannot be destroyed by a battle with non-water monsters. Aqua Actress monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's monster's effects. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one aqua type monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn, except aqua type monsters. Now, you're only in it for the fact that your monsters are not going to be able to be destroyed by battle, by non-water monsters. Got one. Rage of the... Karyu Shin. I'm sorry, I don't want to butcher that name, but maybe it did. If Umi is on the field, target one of your mo target monsters your opponent controls up to the number of water monsters you control whose original levels are 5 or higher. Destroy them, and if you do, the zones they were in cannot be used until the end of the next turn. You can only uh, activate one Rage of the Karyu Shin once per turn. You got one Reinforcement of the Army to try and 
search out your needed empowerment monster. One upstart goblin to draw one card and then, you know, give your opponent a thousand life points. Got two. Oh yeah, end of the spell lineup. So, traps, two sea stealth attack. When this card is activated, you can activate one Umi from your hand or graveyard. While Umi is on the field, this face-up card gains these effects. Once per turn, you can banish one water monster you control until the end of the phase. This turn, until the end phase. This turn, uh, face-up spell tra and traps you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. I'm sorry. Obviously, they can't be destroyed by battle. Cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, even if this card leaves the field. At the end of the damage step, if your water monster, whose original level is 5 or higher, battles an opponent's monster, destroy that opponent's monster. We got 2 Dark Bribe. When an opponent's spell or trap card is activated, your opponent draws 1 card. Also, negate the spell and, spell and trap activated, and if you do, destroy it. And lastly, we got one solemn warning. When a monster would be summoned or when a spell or trap card or monster's effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster, pay 2,000 life points, negate the summon or activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Alright guys, there's no extra deck in this one. So, that is my legendary fisherman deck. So tell me what you think, um, what did you like, what did you dislike, um, give me some feedback, please comment below, I like when you guys comment, um, yeah, remember I have 100 plus budget friendly decks, so there's going to be a lot of fun content coming you guys' way, so please make sure to like and subscribe, and most importantly, have fun!